In the days of Let's Pretend, many years ago, in a castle lived a king with a mother he loved so. Oh, mother darling, mother angel, mother my love. I shall fuck that old crow again. <laughs> mother, where are you? What is it you want? Well, have you sent out the invitations to my wedding on Friday? Yes, I have. And why wasn't the Duchess of Langley on the list? Well, she hasn't been invited. That's cause why not. But why not? <laughs> well, Mother, look what happened at my birthday party. She sat right next to me, right through dinner. She kept making strange noises. <laughs> she couldn't help it? I know, but Mother, but she kept looking at me as if I'd done it. <laughs> she pretended it was my chair scraping on the floor. Oh, well, the invitations to your wedding have all been delivered. Though why you should want to marry a foreign princess, a girl you haven't even seen... I simply cannot understand. But, Mother, she couldn't be any worse than some of them old boiling pieces you've been trying to palm me off with. <laughs> I mean, look at the Lady Gertrude, I mean, I ask you. Ah, but a lot of men like widows. Well, so do I, Mother, but not when they've got sons older than what I am. <laughs> I mean, how could I go up to a 40-year-old baron and say, kiss Daddy goodnight? <laughs> be like an idiot. But why a French girl? Well, Mother, she's been highly recommended. I hear she's a morceau de toute droit. And what is this? <laughs> it's my French phrase book. I'm learning to parler Francais, Mother. But whatever for? Oh, sacred blue, Mother. <laughs> I'm marrying her on Friday. I mean, Friday night we'll be having our cocoa together. <laughs> How will I be able to tell her it's too hot or not sweet enough if I don't speak to linger? <laughs> Look, I tell you what you do, little mother. Nip right on off out of it and see the chef and tell him to prepare a sumptuous repaste for the wedding feast. It's very well. Yeah, Here, mother, just a minute. Tell him I don't want no more of them suet dumplings like we had on my birthday. Like cannonballs, they were. <laughs> oh, they digging me jip. <laughs> and mother, don't forget I'm marrying a French lady. They used to good quality cooking, what they call horticulture. <laughs> Plume de Martin, it's dans le jardin. That'll get her going for a start. Eh? <laughs> oh, most gracious majesty. Oh, most noble king. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> All the wedding clothes for the royal couple, my liege. For the ceremony, uh, this for the bride and this for the groom. Yes, well, how about after? Uh, yes, my liege, after. After the seminary, you know. Oh, when we retire to the royal goodie war. For the royal good war, my liege, we thought something like this. You note how daring it's cut, my liege. How it hugs every subtle curve. <laughs> how the deep V neckline is teasingly embroidered with the most delicate white lace. Well, I must say you've done a grand job on that. <laughs> What's she gonna wear? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, that'll do fine. Now, look, I'm going to my study now, and I'm going to study, see? So I don't want no interruptions. Sit it, jour, de nuit, très dur. And what means that, my liege? It has been a half day's night. <laughs> <laughs> Dreadful news. Well, out with it, man. What is it? A plot, my lords. A plot to kill the king. A plot to kill the king? Well, who would dare do a thing like that? His Majesty's cousin, Catherine, Duchess of Whitworth. She has this day sent him an invitation to take wine with her tomorrow. And there within the castle walls, the assassination is to take place. You've done well to warn us. Away with you now. And with the king out of the way and yet unmarried, Catherine will be next in line for the throne. We must stop the invitations reaching the king. But she'll kill him anyway. Even if he goes to her or not, she still has five days in which to dispose of him before the wedding. How long since the king and Catherine last met? About ten years. Why? Ten years, I wonder. Supposing we sent someone who looked like the king, dressed like the king, and talked like the king. But do you think we could find such a man? It's our duty to try. So off went the conspirators and scoured the countryside. They searched the villages and towns, the hamlets far and wide, until one day they found a peasant fishing on the beach, the very double of the king in everything but speech. Oh, no, brown king! <laughs> No, no, you concentrate not. How now, brown cow? Hey, nay, brown cow! It's better, it's better. If you practice, you'll be able soon to say like me, how now, brown cow? I'm going to make of a job getting that thing in a conversation, though, ain't I? <laughs> Let us try once more. Oh, that's a nice light pike handle. That's a nice light pike handle. <laughs> listen, boy, listen. That's... Uh, uh, look, look, uh, that. That, 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 Handle. Handle. That's a nice light pike handle. That's a nice light pike handle. Oh, the king doesn't talk like that anyhow. He talks like this. That's a nice light pike handle. <laughs> it must be funny then if he talks like that. That's a nice light pike handle. By George, he's got it. He's really got it. You did it. It managed to stay. Now, for test. Got a word, remember? Up this tunic. Here you are, I'm having a baby. Oh, noble king, oh, most gracious majesty, I came post haste in answer to your majesty's summons. Pray, what does his majesty require of me? His majesty requires a duplicate set of visiting clothes. Oh, the magenta. Oh, what taste, what impeccable taste his majesty has. 
But could I not just measure His Majesty's other visiting clothes? No, I think you'd better measure him. He appears to have got much fatter. Oh, my Lord Albert, please. His Majesty was never fat. Well built, solid, comfortable, yes, but never fat. Well, I say he's fat. Lord Albert, pray have a care. His Majesty has that healthy athletic build, so admired by the ladies and envied by men. Now, if His Majesty would be so kind as to raise his exquisitely shaped arm, just a teensy weensy bit. Oi, right, put your arm up, fatty. Oh. <laughs> Save it in all his hurry. Please be careful. <laughs> uh, well, we caught him. Well, this isn't the king. <laughs> if this were the king, would I prod him like this? Oh, oh, would I kick him like this? <laughs> <laughs> You look so like him. I, I know. You're a great fat nit. You're a great neighbor. Why, may I feel like yes. Oh, you big fat oaf. Oh, that's funny. Do you tight-fisted old twit? What are you going to pay your bill? <laughs> well, I never did like him anyway. Isn't this fun? You know, he owes me for 37 suits of Dublin and Hope to say nothing of other bits of strippery. <laughs> I don't think I like this game. And if you forget your accent when we go to Whitworth Castle this afternoon, you'll like it even less. Here, watch it. <laughs> The duck goes to the water, Lord Albert goes to Whitworth, and the lamb goes to the slaughter. Mr. King Henry! Henry, <laughs> come kiss your cousin. Right, oh, Mrs. Your Grace. Your Grace, say your Grace. <laughs> For what I am about to say. Remember what I told you. Oh, no, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> what a wit the king has. Always a merry quip hanging from his lips. <laughs> Come, Henry, sit down. Right. You must tell me all your news. You may leave us now, Lord Albert. The king and I have much to talk about. Au revoir, Your Grace. Goodbye, Fred, uh, Your Majesty. <laughs> so Catherine schemes her wicked schemes completely unaware that the true king's found his invitation and will soon himself be there. Why so distant, Henry? Oh, come a little closer. Right, Dio. You don't mind. Give me your hand. Let me place it against my cheek. Oh. <laughs> don't be so shy. Have you never caressed a maiden's cheek before? Well, only once. And was it not soft and smooth? I don't know. I had my gauntlets on at the time. <laughs> Oh, look, Henry, you haven't touched your poise, your wine yet. Yeah, so, well, I tell you what, you see, it's been rather a time in journey. I should, I should like to go and freshen up, if I may, if you don't mind. Would you be so kind as to tell me where the bathroom is? Very well. It's straight along the corridor. You yeah. can't miss it. I should try not to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it won't be long now. Her gracious majesty, Queen Catherine. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> oh, cousin, how lovely to see you again. You just haven't changed a bit, you know. <laughs> Should I have? <laughs> Tell me if I changed much. <laughs> Hardly at all. Nonsense. Since the last time I saw you, I've gone quite grey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Drink your wine. No, thank you. No, not a drop for me, thanks. <laughs> Never not touch just a small no, no, goblet. No, not for me. No. You'll forgive me. I think I'll go and see that my horse is all right. I may have to feed him. Excuse me. Be back in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he won't take poison in his wine... I shall just have to poison the food. There. <laughs> Enough to kill a regiment. Oh, that's better. <laughs> How was it? Very nice, thank you. Was the horse all right? Well, in the bathroom. <laughs> Do you have any drinks you had? I haven't had any yet. And where's mine? But you said you didn't want it. Well, I said no such thing. I think you're going potty, you are. I think I'd better nip down the apothecary and get you something for your age. No, no, it's all right. All right. <laughs> King's a fool. I shall outwit him yet. <laughs> oh, I saw him. <laughs> he was all right. I put his nose back on. <laughs> what? On the apothecary? <laughs> no, on the awful flat with you. Are you all right? You better sit down a little bit. Oh, you look quite flushed. <laughs> So late into the evening continues the deceit. A body falls into the moat. The plan is now complete. 
The royal couple marry. A very grand affair. Tis evening, and Lord Tenby now leaves the happy pair. Well, Your Majesty, married at last. Yes, my word. No, for a little while back at Whitworth Castle, I thought I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> Such an exquisite ride. Oh, my word, yes. But no doubt Your good Majesty night. will want good to make it. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Good good night. night. Darling, I'm so tired. Don't you think it's time we retire? <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Don't be long, darling. No, I shan't be long, my prophet. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy being married to her. Better than that old crow I got in a farmhouse, I tell you. <laughs>